Welcome back. Here we are in Studio One, the uh, election studio. What are you doing here? I was invited in. What? I was invited in. This, this is your last show on, uh, well, the last that, that we know of anyway, because there might be something else. But anyway, being your last show, I wanted to present you with something. And you know something? Ever since I found out you were leaving, I have been practicing interrupting myself, and it doesn't work. No <laughs> oh, one, they'll find someone else to interrupt no you. It's part of the deal. It. No one could do it as good as you, buddy. Anyway, Thank we've uh, really enjoyed ourselves. Yes. And I look, I bought you a little gift. Oh, for God's sake. And this. Careful with the set there. You don't want to break my that before caught. the election. <laughs> and this here, Jim. Open the door. Oh, Peter. You shouldn't have. Even though you might all never have the upper hand, you should be able to have the upper seat. In oh, this. my God. A you double-decker outhouse. I'll use that to keep me out of the rain, which you so constantly forecast. Yes. Yeah. Well, there's one other thing, too, mm. buddy. Wear this in good health. What the heck is that? What does it say? Retire. Don't ask me to do a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I don't think that's big enough for my head. That won't surprise you. No, no, it will. No. It will surprise me. It's the right size for you, Jim. Mm. We've had so much fun in the past two years. It's uh, Peter, it's been a gas. Uh, the, we've only had a year and a half to work together, but I've enjoyed every minute of it. It's been a great pleasure for me. And you know, It's nice to meet you. We've and fooled have you a lot of me. viewers, too, because a lot of people are saying, you know, don't you guys like each other? <laughs> Things like we get that. along fine. I know. It's, it's been a blast. It's all part of the okay. shtick, eh? Anyway, you want to see a younger Jim Nunn? Oh my God. Let's take a look at a younger Jim Nunn here. What's this? I was supposed to be a lawyer, you know. My father and my cousin, who's now a judge, had it all figured out. Without asking me, I was, uh, I was told I was going to go to law school. Hi, Mr. Nose. <laughs> Hi, how are you? And there is some hope to be taken today. We'll keep you informed. Uh, sprung his in way over its head and all it, all it. Mother. I've been everywhere, man. Good evening, I'm Jim Nunn. How did Arnie Patterson handle himself during the last campaign? Well, liberals are expected to nominate high school principal Alvin Sinclair to contest the seat against the man liberals call that carpetbagger from Quebec. I know a lot of people uh, criticize the CBC and some of your viewers criticize you. Listen, you ask me one more question like that, and I'll rip your eyes out and send them out over the airways right now. Do you understand? I can understand. I think he's highly overrated, and I think the only reason he ever got into broadcasting in the first place is that he's the son of J. Clyde Nunn. A fella told me, he said, you're going to be talking to Jim Nunn this time. And he said, watch for trick questions. <laughs> is it true, as the stories tell, that newly married couples in Newfoundland uh, would put your picture up in their bedroom so as to assure that their family was blessed. Then, no, then, so then, the baby then. would look like me. <laughs> oh my God, I'm going a little gray, you notice? Yeah. <laughs> you are a narcissistic TV. guy who needs to have a little bit of leeway in your relationship. What you, Jimmy, don't Jimmy, touch Jimmy. me. <laughs> have you heard no, about the recession, again, Premier? Sure. Excuse me? I say, have you heard about the recession? Why don't you just focus on, on providing a service that people would appreciate? Can we talk? Can we talk? Can we talk? <laughs> have you always been a, like a cheeky, loudmouth person? You seem an affable fellow. I know you are. How much money do you make? I don't think that's a fair question to ask. You don't make the minimum wage, though, do you? When was the last time I talked to you? Oh, years ago. I'm well, sure you I remember. I hope it's just as long again. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Thanks, Don Cherry. See you. Well, what happened was the... Uh... And that is the heart of the dilemma facing the Buchanan government. And that is the weather. <laughs> Never seen anything like it, Frank. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Uh, it's very unprofessional to laugh at another man's problems, but that was funny. <laughs> the side of this story is that 300 other old movies were taken from the site and they're now believed to be buried in a garbage dump. We have more from Phil Sherman. Why, tell him. I'm, I'm insufficiently vertically challenged. The secret's think. out. I remember as a youngster growing up in the north end of Halifax watching Jim Nunn you do the news. You flying <laughs> devil. Now this is something I was sure I would never yes. do on television. Stitches are a little bit big, but uh -huh. that will improve. <laughs> Don't be critical now, I'm just sorry. <laughs> very young in university, but I think I was wise enough to determine uh, that broadcasting and journalism would be more interesting and more fun than law. 
And that's it from here. Say goodbye to your friends, guys. Bye. Faces. I Thank God I that. finally found a barber. What? <laughs> Isn't it funny how styles change over the years? It is, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good luck to you. Well, and best of luck to you, buddy. Thanks, Peter. Okay. What do we do now? Say goodbye? Oh, yes. <laughs> Next on CBC News, Nova Scotia at 6, National and World News. We'll be right back.